Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The fabric sculptures you see sitting behind me, I created these dolls myself. And as I was making them, child, they wouldn't stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And for my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, I created my own oracle deck based off of the personalities of the Jungle Beauty Goddess dolls. Today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses will be answering the question, are you being true to yourself? I think you might find something interesting and valuable. Thank you so much for watching. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the gold butterfly, oh, let me turn it back, if you selected the gold butterfly, then this reading is for you. So the question is, are you being true to yourself darling? We are going to see what the mystic being card has to say, and then I have three cards for you to kind of give us a little insight into what's going on. Are you being true to yourself? And is this person being true to themselves? I can't wait to see. Yes, yes, you are being true to yourself. Oh my God, I'm so happy to hear that. So you're being true to yourself. So let's see what the cards have to say. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Cyanide. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Cyanide's message to you is, let's see what she has to say. If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. Okay, so, well, are you being true to yourself? 
they're telling you to go for it. So if it's a job, go get it. If it's a man, tell him he's yours. If it's a woman, say, girl, you mine. Whatever it is, don't wait anymore. Be true to yourself. Like, don't think, well, you know, you know. No, like, it says you're being true to yourself and it's saying that um, whatever you want, it belongs to you, as, you know, because you're a person who's true to yourself. So go get him, child. Go get that job. Go get that man. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty, I mean, from The Matter, who represents dark energy and matter. Your obsession, obsession will be your possession. Oh my God. Your cards are saying be true to yourself and go get what you want. That is the essence of your hand. I've never read a hand clearer that says that you, are you being true to yourself? It just seems like the stars are lined up for you. If you want that job, it's yours. Go get it. Apply. And if that's, if you don't get that job, it's something better waiting around the corner. Go to school. Whatever it is you want. It says, <clears throat> stop waiting for it. Okay? Because the first card was, are you being true to yourself? And the card says, yes. So that means that you are in alignment with what you want. Don't stop waiting. Just go get it. Your obsession will be your possession. Whatever it is that you are obsessing over, you're going to have it, darling. And then the last card I have for you is, oh my goodness, love is the only thing worth fighting for. Now, what's really interesting about this card is, oh my goodness, whatever you're obsessing over, it means it's something that you love. And you don't need to wait any longer. You need to go and get it. This, like I said, this could be anything from a job to a person to a dream, writing a book, whatever it is you want, it wants you. So you are a person who is true to yourself, meaning that you know what you want. You are not a person who hide, you know, you're not ashamed of what you want. But the universe is telling you to go ahead and get a job. Now I'm going to see if there's a message for you from your star alien being. In terms of this person being true to themselves, is there an additional message that can help them? You already have everything you want. But sometimes we don't see it because we expect it to look another way. Take a look at your life and you will see that you are rich in love and that you have everything that you need to be all that you came to this planet to be. That is all. Okay, that was a quick Your hand was easy. Don't wait. Get going. You got this. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the red butterfly, this reading is for you in terms of are you being true to yourself so first we're going to look at the mystic being card and then we're i have three cards for you to give us a little bit more insight into as to whether or not you are being true to yourself so the card to the question is this person being true to themselves let me see is this person being true to themselves oh, they don't know. Is this person being true to themselves? Let's see. The mystic being says work harder. So I guess what there is, it's clear. You need to work harder to be true to yourself. And I'll talk about that in a minute, but first let me just see what your cards say. 
the first car I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari who represents the heart chakra and she says love multiplies when you give it away the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar's message to you is bring your dreams to life. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents our throat chakra, which has to do with our ability to communicate and express our artistic um our purpose in life and to be able to be in alignment with our truth and her me message is if the answer is yes or no you have not asked the right questions so this ties right back into the work harder so what I'm what I'm picking up from this hand so the question is, are you being true to yourself? The mystic being says you need to work harder to be true to yourself. And then you have a card that says, if the answer is yes or no, then you have not asked the right questions. Usually what this means to me is that a person wants something. Let, let's just say, for example, um, like I'll just think of somebody wants to be a basketball player. But maybe they're not tall enough. Maybe they don't have the skill set. But what if they wanted to design the uniform for the team or maybe they want to be an accountant for the team or maybe they want to go over finances you know to help the basketball players learn how to invest their money or take care of their money or what if they could be a, a doctor um, who works with injuries sports injuries what I'm saying is whatever it is that you want you are in the like like sometimes people say I want to work with kids but does it mean you want to work with them in a classroom? Do you want to start your own after school program? What capacity do you want to take them on, you know, start your own summer camp program? I think whatever it is in your heart right now, I think you need to figure out what the core is and then work around that. Like, so if you want to do a YouTube channel, like, but maybe you, let's say you're shy. So maybe you can do something where you're not, where you don't have to be on camera. Or maybe you're thinking, well, I don't have the perfect equipment, but maybe you can just start off with your cell phone. Or maybe you can just start off, you know, just working, you know, filming your breakfast. The point I'm making is, are you being true to yourself? The car says you need to work harder. It means that you really have not put the best effort into what it is you, you really want. And that or, or you don't even really know for sure. And I'm going to tell you something about life. You don't figure out what you want to do by thinking about it. You have to do it. And then, like, oh, like for example, you get that job and you say, oh, my God, what was I thinking? Of course I don't want to do this. But you didn't know that. And you wouldn't have known that unless you tried. So whatever it is that you really want to do, I think you need to jump into life and you need to tweak it. Because then you'll really know. So that's what I mean by the answer is not yes or no. Do you want to be a football player? Do you want to, you know, be a teacher? Maybe you like kids, but you don't like kids that way. Maybe you work better. Maybe you want to be a counselor. So the thing is you need to tweak whatever it is you want. And also, I think you need to, um, sometimes we are ashamed of our dreams. You know, like if we tell somebody you want to be a writer, people look at you like, do you want to eat too? Um, do you want to make money? Do you want to live in a box? You know what I'm saying? So sometimes we we start to, because we we know what we want and we know it's not acceptable by our parents or society, so we really haven't figured out what we really want to do yet because we're, we're afraid of what other people are going to think. So we might just have a false dream. So we might tell people, oh, yeah, I want to be a, um, a lawyer. When really you don't want to be a lawyer, what you really want to be, is a YouTuber, but you can't tell people you want to be a YouTuber because people are going to say, well, how are you going to make it? So I think you need to work harder at being true to yourself and finding your, your niche. Um, and once you do that, General Beauty Goddess so far, you have the card where she says, you know, um, bring your dreams to life. When you figure out and tweak what it is you really want, you'll be able to bring your dream to life. And oh, you have the card that says love multiplies when you give it away. Now, what this means is, <clears throat> sorry, when you do something that you love, 
that okay when a person first you know let's say you want to be a singer well usually when people first start out they don't make money they kind of probably sing for free and they probably do a lot of backup and they don't you know it's like you they're doing it because they love it so much and the money comes later it multiplies when you give it away or just like i remember they said mrs phil's um, cookies they said that she used to bake cookies and she used to stand on the corner and, and um, or in the mall or wherever and she would give her cookies away so people would come back and buy them later so whatever it when you figure out what it is that you really love don't think about the money aspect of it oh just like YouTube like I make all these videos I don't make money from my videos yet maybe I will one day maybe I won't but I'm doing something because I enjoy it and so when you love something it always multiplies it always comes back to you in another way so um, you need to you know work a little bit harder at being true to yourself and just being honest with yourself you don't even have to tell people what your dreams are but just be really true to yourself and be honest with yourself no matter what other people may think and I don't care if you want to be a baseball player who cares at least you have a dream and that's what you really want to do and at least you should go for it you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna see if you have an additional message from your star alien being is there an additional message for this person in terms of are they being true to themselves the most important thing that this person needs to understand is that in order to be true to yourself you must be okay with failing trying different things out and not being good at them or even going for the thing that you think you want and realizing that you have no interest in it and you're not good in it what stops most people from ever really accomplishing their dreams and goals is the fear of failure so what they do is a lot of things that they are good at but it's not what they really want to do don't be afraid to make mistakes don't be afraid to fail because behind all of those mistakes and all of those perceived failures are really the gem of true joy and happiness that you're looking for and only the brave and the people with courage and the people who don't care what people think are ever able to achieve this level of happiness so our advice to you is do not be afraid of mistakes do not be afraid of failure because it's really not failure what it is is you digging through all of the rubbish to get to the gem of who you really are. Wow. That was kind of a good message. Wow, thank you. Anyway, that is the message I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to have the mystic being answer the question, are you being true to yourself? And then I am going to go over the three cards to give us more insight into the answer from the mystic being. So to the question, are you being true to yourself? Let's see what the mystic being has to say. Oh, I don't know why I get nervous, like it's you know me or something. Is this person being true to themselves? The answer is unlimited possibilities. Unlimited possibilities. This means that you haven't figured out one pathway yet. You don't really know what you want to do, but there are a lot of things that you are passionate about that is what this means I don't know if you can see it unlimited I mean it's not that it's anything profound to look at so the card says are you being true to yourself and it says you have unlimited possibilities which means that 
there are just a lot of things that you're good at and a lot of things you're interested in and you haven't really settled in on one thing yet but you are being true to yourself but it's I think it feels like the energy is scattered but let's take a look at the cards so the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's card for you it says it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself now my intuition about this card tied in with the other card about unlimited possibilities it just seems like you may be the kind of person who is a people pleaser so you yeah like you you love yourself but you want to make your mom happy too so you want to be a teacher for your mom and you want to be an accountant for your dad and you uh, with your friends you want to, uh, I mean I'm quite sure no one is wrong you know have that many options but what I'm picking up from this hand is to the question are you being true to yourself is that it seems like you have the potential to do and be whatever you want to be but you have your hand in a lot of pots and you're trying to please a lot of people that's that's what I'm picking up the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara to the question are you being true to yourself and her um, message to you is use your intuition to acquire more information let me see see what I, my camera was working perfectly so basically what she is saying oh there we go what she is saying is that you need to look within yourself to figure out what it is you truly want to do so and she also represents our throat chakra and our throat chakra is responsible for our ability to speak the truth recognize the truth it also ties us to our creativity which is in our um, the second chakra which is where two inches below the navel and it connects us to our purpose and the uh, expression of our truth our raw authentic and honest truth so what she is saying is that you need to look within yourself and figure out what you want not what your family want or your friends want or society want or what's going to pay the most money in your mind or what's going to be the easiest but really in your heart do some you know do some research and find out what it is you really want to accomplish in your life so that you can be really true to yourself um, maybe narrow in on something and experience success in this area and let it build into other areas the next card I have for you oh my goodness it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari who represents the heart chakra and the heart chakra has everything to do with it ties right back into following your heart you know um, doing what we love that type of thing like love is not just for other people but it's also love for ourselves and be in alignment with our purpose and doing what we love what we came to this planet to accomplish our life's mission so to speak so for Jenna B. Diaz Kalahari who represents our heart chakra her message to you is true love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties oh my god this is such a good hand so the question for you is are you being true to yourself and the mystic beings answer to you is you have unlimited unlimited possibilities now that you need to see it unlimited possibilities right so this means that you have a lot of potential a lot of talent a lot of ideas you could go in either direction but it doesn't seem like you have really selected one path for now because you know we, we are multi-dimensional beings you don't have to just do one thing in your life but to the question are you being true to yourself it seems like you're being true to multiple people or you know or multiple people or society um, external um, people or outside of yourself and it doesn't seem like you have really zeroed in and what it is that you truly want to do more than anything in the world and so you have a card that's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara who represents the throat chakra who represents our ability to connect with our inner voice our inner truth to express and communicate our purpose to the world she is clearly saying to you use your intuition 
to acquire more information. So to the question, are you being true to yourself? She feels like you need to really look deeper into yourself to figure out what it is that you really want and shut out the noise from the world. The card um, from Jungle Beauty Guys called Hari, who represents our heart, following our heart, knowing what we really want more than anything. She said, it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. And I feel like what she is saying is, yes, you might love your parents. Yes, you might, you know, like we might love other people and want to make them happy. But the truth is, it is most important for us to love ourselves, to, to find out what's inside of our hearts, you know, what it is that you want to do, not, you know, trying to please your family or your parents or your friends or your teachers or society. You know, you, you really need to figure out if when you look at it within your own heart and, and loving yourself and say, look, I, I just, you know what, I want to make ice cream. I want to be... I want to sell ice cream. I want to. I want to be a dancer. You know what I'm saying? I want to. You. It's like there's something that you need to figure out, and about what it is that you really want, and love yourself enough to bring that part of you into existence, regardless of what anyone else thinks of you. And then the card, true love, is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties. This hand to me is saying. True love is not just, you know, for all parties, that includes you. So for the highest good of all parties, if you want to be a teacher because your mom wanted you, wanted you to be a teacher and your father wanted you to be a teacher, but in your heart you never really wanted to be a teacher, well, the highest good for all parties means that you have to put yourself in the equation. And if you're doing something that you really d don't feel 100% passionate about, that it's not going to be fair to the children. It's not going to be fair to you. So we, so when we say all parties, what this means to me personally, true love is doing what is best for the highest good of all parties. If you are in a job that you hate, you're not. That is not for the highest good for your parents because you're grown to resent them. It's not for the highest good of the students because you're probably not going to be that good at it. And it's not going to be for the highest good for you because you're not going to be happy. So to me. When they say do what is in the best interest of the highest good of all parties, when you do what is best for you, it is what's best for everyone else. Because to have a person in a position where they are not suit that they are not suited for, they don't have the temperament for, that they're not really happy with, is a disservice to society as a whole. So be true to yourself. Look within yourself. Find more information. I know you. It seems like the cars are saying you have a lot of talents, a lot of abilities. You're smart. You're brilliant. You can do anything you want to do. People love you, but you still need to kind of tweak your um, ambition a little bit and just figure out what it is that will make you happy. Focus in on one thing. Get some success. Enjoy it. If you want to move into something else, go ahead and do so. But now I just get the feeling that your energy is a it's all over the place, and that you would be a lot happier if you could figure out what it is that you that you want and focus in on that thing. So now I want to see if there's a message for you from your star alien being. Is there an additional message for this person? To the question. Are they being true to themselves? Is there an additional message that you have for this person? They should not focus on being true to themselves. They should focus on getting to know themselves. One can only be true to him or herself after they have figured out what it is they're being true to. My suggestion to this person is to continue on the route of trying different things, different jobs, different opportunities and learning new things about themselves because this is how you find yourself you when they find the thing that they are most passionate about 
they will their soul will signal to them that this is where to stop looking so keep doing what you're doing right now with your unlimited possibilities keep on the route of seeking and learning and having new experiences because when you find your true calling you will know it that is all wow so the star alien being is saying that you should continue doing what you're doing in terms of this self-discovery and trying new opportunities um, the cars are saying zero in on something I think you should, you know, sift through your reading and do what is absolutely best for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the burnt orange butterfly this reading is for you to the question are you being true to yourself so first I'm going to see what the message is from the the mystic being and then we're going to go over the cards for a deeper insight so to the question are you being true to yourself is this person being true to themselves we want to know this person being true to themselves. So, what is the answer from the star? Miss, from the um, it says not now. So, to the question, are you being true to yourself? The mystic being says not now, and we're gonna dig into the cards and see why would they say not now? What do you mean you're not being true to yourself? Now? So, the first card I have for you. It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is some people are simply not meant to be in your life. Okay. Yeah, let me just finish and see what the other cards are saying. And the next card I have from you is from Kalahari, who represents the heart chakra, which has to do with our ability to love ourselves and love others self-respect the whole nine how do you feel about it your feelings matter and then the last card i have for you is from general beauty goddess kalahari who again got a, lot, got a lot of heart energy going on which means that there's some issues with relationships um and the her message to you is wait let me get this card right it says you can't help who you love but you can help how you allow yourself to be treated. To the question, are you being true to yourself? I am getting the impression from your hand that it says not now because you have surrounded yourself with people who do not have your highest and best interests at heart. That is what I'm taking out from this hand. And you have some strong heart energy because you have two cards from Jungle Beauty Goddess. Kalahari, who represents our heart chakra, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about others, um, forgiveness. So it seems like it says you can't you can't help who you love, but you can help how you allow yourself to be treated. So I think that's kind of speak volumes. So listen, this could be a job where you're not respected. This could be a relationship with your with a significant other or with your family, but. It appears from this reading that you are in relationships where you are not receiving uh, reciprocal respect and love to the same degree that you are giving in the relationship, which is a problem. And it says, how do you feel about it? Your feelings matter. Seems like you have been able to bury your feelings or make excuses for the people in your life, the way that people treat you, whether it's your job, whether it's your family, whether it's a significant other. You that are like, you know, well, it's okay. It's okay that, you know, that I get all the, the bad hours. <laughs> it's okay. You know, he said he was going to call or she said, but, you know, they got caught up. You know, things happen. Like, 
the cards are saying that you are not being true to your feelings. You're not being, um, you are not standing up for yourself. You have surrounded yourself with people that really, who really aren't good for you. I mean, there's just no other way to say it. You can't help who you love, but you can help how you allow yourself to be treated. How do you feel about it? Your feelings matter. Like, are you around people, rather, in your life who, it's just some people are simply, listen, some people are simply not meant to be in your life. This hand is clear as a bell that you are not being true to yourself because you are in relationships that are unhealthy and that, um, yeah, and that you have buried your feelings and you are not doing what you need to do to remove these people from your life. So now I am going to listen to the message from your, uh, from the skull, the lapis lazuli skull, to see if there's an additional message for you. Is there an additional message for this person in terms of them being true to themselves? You are enough. You are worthy and you are enough. Sometimes it's really difficult to let go of bad relationships because we feel like it's better to be in a relationship than be alone. But you are never alone. No one is ever alone because you are always with yourself. My advice to you is to develop a relationship with yourself that is very healthy and nurturing. Go to the movies by yourself. Spend time alone. Don't be afraid to be by yourself and nurture the relationship that you have with yourself because the way you treat yourself is how others will treat you. And I want to repeat this again. The way you treat yourself the way you love yourself, the way you feel about yourself is exactly how others feel about you and the way others will treat you. So being comfortable in your own skin, being comfortable being alone is a secret to being surrounded by people who adore you because you must first adore yourself. When you love yourself completely and totally, your flaws and all, your good side and your bad side, when you love everything about yourself, this is when you will learn to be true to yourself. You can't be true to yourself if you don't first respect a love and adore yourself just as you are. That is all. That was a good message. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.